boss, the boss, the boss, the boss. I'm too persistent with incoming, no cast. Get it on my own, no collab. But the bar with me. Hey yo, people telling them she went my line jazz now the building right now we got my first ever CJ the champ reaction but now when it comes to his videos it's 50-50 I've watched some of them I've not watched others so if you might want me to react to more of them let, let me know and that fam you know what I'm saying I watch some with other streamers or YouTubers or whatever I can't lie to you this slayed one I kind of want to watch it so I might do that one anyway blood but any others but let me know fam if I've seen it you know what I'm saying I won't react to it if I have I will blood let's get into it though fam unlike she did the champ this is the creme de la creme of YouTube right here quantity of I mean quality of a quantity fam <clears throat> you know what I'm saying let's get into it hatred to dislike a nigga intensely or passionately to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga. I don't know why he didn't do on this one. Like, so makes the more basis. sense out all now you see ladies like. and gentlemen there are just many haters in fiction just in general for an example no, reverse flash I mean yo this man hates Barry so much I don't even know what kind of hating at this point it's like a severe case of meat munching hell Eaten. Then obviously you know we got your D.O.s, your freezers, your flat nose, no nostril, Voldemort, how does that nigga smell? And yo, you even got your scars! Oh yeah, that's uh, nice. Scar, please help me! Oh what bro, you me up? bloodline! Yeah. Long live the king! Adios, motherfucker! Wait a minute, I swear there was a YouTuber that made some sort of like video on like how he actually didn't die and he's still alive because we didn't see the body and there was no cops and da 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 Oh no 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 no, forget scratch that, scratch that, they actually said that he ate him blood, they said that Scar actually ate his brother blood, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm thinking Ladies and gentlemen, the man you know that we saying? are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, was, disgusting you know and ignorant human Simple beings thoughts. to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Stink me. The OG himself. You know what I mean? Exhibit I A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to understand the philosophy of stink meter and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. Yo, this this must have been like top three episodes on Boondocks. I hey, can't lie. Watch it where you going, nigga. Has hey, to be. hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. So they start to get to blasting <laughs> and miss every single shot like they just got off the set <laughs> of a new boat. Like, and on, once man. they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Freeze! That's crazy, blood. These niggas were two feet in front of each other and that could not hit one shot, blood. But as soon as the, the white man comes to you, blood, they're hitting all dots and them thing. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, Stinkmeter was always an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. <laughs> yeah, he I just remember just happiness in general. Man, this some more bush. At age 15, Stink Meter lost his eyes. Hey! But the thing is, he didn't care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. So doctors only gave him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sh and giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, is basically a Sith Lord. The hatred drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see his beat up ass with a driving like a Nissan Ultima in Atlanta, not giving a care in the world. Jesus Christ, it's like Trunk who done possessed this man. Wait a minute. As I'm now thinking about it, who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license? Whoever issued this sh you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, as we can see, this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50, and he starts bagging in the gray ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be so nobody he actually just kind of good for a blind nigga. So this man gets out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 1-800-collecting ass whooping. Partner. So granddad says, yo, bro, are you blind? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped in a moment. 
So Huey says, yo, you could. Hey, he probably has the best enunciation, bro, of the N-word. I, I, that's not even a thing, but low-key, like, top three people in the world, blood, that can literally pronounce the N-word like that, bro. Yeah, he's, he's in there, man. He's Robert in there, Freeman yeah. has been trapped. In yeah, a but he says it with two So Huey says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man's stink meter like, oh, I be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did. Good impression. Oh, brother, you best have insurance. Yep. Yo, I actually thought he was using the audio for a second there. Holy yo. communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best no, have insurance. No, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance because you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, granddad can either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle it, or B, fight with an old crazy blind man. And uh, let's just say... This brother chose B. So Steve Meaner just start like pressing and he just bro. start spitting in his face. Yeah, you, he like, lines. what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. You gonna do something about it, bitch ass, nigga. And then Steve Meaner ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to another man. Hold up. I smell new shoes. This man stepped on Granddad's new white voice sister. Oh, hell no. Nah, bro. This is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. And nah, nah, if you replay it back, look how he stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole <laughs> leg. Had that hoe at a 90 degree angle. And went, yeah. <laughs> Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he like, yeah, they ain't new anymore, Yeah, So then this was the final straw that made Granddad take it. So Granddad swing at him, but he dodges it. And he's like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Now, he must have what Daredevil has in that blood, you know what I'm saying? With the instincts and them thing there, fam, you know what I'm saying? You remember the, the Daredevil movie, blood, where it was raining and he saw the woman in blue, blood? He must have that blood, you know what I'm saying? Some sort of ultrasoundic x ray vision, it, man. And he's no like, way. ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by an old blind man. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just start making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind nigga? Then later that night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, I look on the news and he like, this just said, a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. That's crazy. Brother got used to in Mexico City on calling a piñata. So then that. the phone bidip, bidip, started bidip, ringing and guess who left a voicemail? Bidip, 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 bidip. Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now, I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Robert, hello? Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So it got so bad to the point Handsome that later machine. on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall. Now, let's be honest, though. Uncle Rockers is definitely the biggest hair in animation history, but like, come on, blood, like, come on, bro. He literally, he hits black people so much that he hits himself. But, like, Down stink meter and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad started training thinking he Ali or something, because Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting this like we about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate or something. So now it's the night of the fight and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for $10. So they start squaring up and stink meaner like, yeah, you scared? You scared, ain't you, bitch, nigga? Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. <laughs> That's vintage. So he starts swinging and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my God. This ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. Granddad started whooping that ass. Bro, I gave him a shot. you got Tiger? And started kicking up like hard rain. And then granddad loaded him. Stop the man. Oh my days, bro. 
So Huey was able to stop him, blood, when his granddad was about to get whooped and that, but now he's, you know, and blood, help the guy, man. Help the guy. I understand it, blood. You know what I'm saying? Disrespected your, your, your gramps and them thing there, but help the guy out, man. Fatality. Yeah, and he did it out, just man. knock him out. Granddad killed him. All because he got trapped in a nigga moment. So I yeah, that was that. exhibit A, and it's time to move on to exhibit B. I forgot about that. I, I forgot he killed the man. I now present to you exhibit B, the return. So as we know, Stink Meaner died, but little did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing demons. And even the devil says he's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. This man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest guy he's ever seen. That is the most legendary feat of all time. He even called the devil a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so the devil's like, Colonel H. Stink Meter. I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But even Stink Meaner knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a nigga moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nigga poop. You, you can't do that, hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I had my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, Fuck you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass nigga. I'll beat your motherfuckers to diddy ass nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was a perfect time for Stink Meaner to make his move. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Who this man told WWE drop fix this man? Now, guys, you just ruined my proudest moments, like, man. I can't oh, lie to yeah. you. Look at you. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in your chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. So, 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 somebody call an ambulance. Hey, help. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So this man Stink Meaner got him acting up in the courtroom. Bert got up in there and said, F*** your court, nigga! <laughs> then later on, bro goes home to Tom's wife. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, I wanna beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife's cheeks <laughs> up. Oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on oh, your so girl doing it. Nah, one. but it's crazy. So then Oh yeah, in um the Marvel one, man, the one that literally just came out. What's it called again, fam? Oh my the moon, the moon, sun, moon, moonshine, moonlight, blood. You might know which I'm talking about, bro. That one there, blood. You know what I am, blood? When them one were having that conflict of interest between themselves and them thing there, blood. Later you know on, Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. So, Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, I'm back. Like, yo, what in The Shining is going on right now? So granddad start running down the steps. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. So Steve Meter saying, you don't remember me? You don't remember my name? What's my name, nigga? What's my name, Robert? What's my name? And that's the thing though, he's in a younger body and he can see blood. Yeah, so for the So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, 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 that's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap and this man stink me to going crazy. Bro, a body Huey smack Riley around and he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. <laughs> then he like, is that all y'all got, nigga? Dude, look at this backhanded Huey. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces <laughs> to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained that on this bed and legendary. Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Stink me to wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, uh, oh, uh, um, no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. 
I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy hell. You weirdo. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just on TV. Crazy. So they end up having to call the This guy's so much of a hater, blood, that he sensed that there was a woman downstairs, but a white woman at that and was saying things to get her the fuck out of it. Honestly, Church there's levels to this shit, man. man. There's levels so to this shit. there was only one man that could save the day. Man, God man, bless like, you, Robin. I came as fast as I could. So let's go ahead and get down to business. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God, I will get demonetized. The brother will make excuses. If he get desperate- What were they, bro? I need to watch Boondocks That again, brother man. may try to rap. Oh yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up in this room and Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Read the read. Oh. And they start beating this man on the bed and saying some phrases that I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I'm not the most family friendly, but uh, I, I, I ain't saying it. But then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising his spirit. And any way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers in that final. You see know what I'm saying? The two biggest hitters ever, but I feel like Uncle Ruckus tops him still. I can't lie to you. Exercising his I feel like he trumps him. And sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C. The hateocracy. Um, so even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still the day had a crew well. All that wanted to come back and that, get that, it back in blood. Ladies two. and gentlemen, meet the hateocracy. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stink meaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gright Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4. B4. Bingo nigga! Now what the f I win? Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop them because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, <laughs> till they split up. Blood. But because of the death of Stink Meaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh, hell no, nah. what the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for, the Curious George exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert. Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whip his ass, Rufus. <laughs> Breaking news. A man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. Them damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at. Wait, is Uncle Ruckus and, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Is Uncle Ruckus and, um, stick meaning related, blood? Oh, they must have escaped. Pause on this, but look at them off. They both have that weird ass fucking, M ass fucking mouth and shit, blood. That wavy mouth and them thing there, blood. The top and bottom lip. Type from the zoo or something. And they also have that one too that's just sticking out and them thing there, low key. Look into them that. Damn wild animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school and they like, oh, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right. We're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing obviously something ain't right. So they go outside and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. <laughs> 
And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no, nah, no, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy and they is teeing off. That's the thing about Boondocks with that incorporation of like the samurai shit and them thing there for two cord. I'm telling you, man. Boondocks, bro, top few shows of all time. You know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy and they is teeing off. Oh my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beat me. Hell out of Riley. Oh, and a uh, fun fact, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with, but she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So My Huey dear. and Riley just got absolutely body killed. Oh. Nah, Riley got his brain, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight, but they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this nah, was happening, this was but they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. Shadow but meanwhile, while me. this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing, but he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir, do you know a man by stink meter? Oh, wait. You already should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! So bruh starts swinging this. I don't even know what that is. So Robert starts getting the step. But dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh, Lord. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a bodyguard. So the hateocracy ended up pulling up to their house. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key start working him. Oh, my God! Look how he beat old girl, beat the wig off that bitch. Then he went, boom. Then he hit him with the finish. Oh, no. Then he went, boom. Then he hit him with the finish. Oh, no. But I say was oh, uh, them? that nigga's life was past tense. Rufus caught that man lacking. Oh my god. <clears throat> you know, you gotta censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube oh, because uh, you that new policy. You don't wanna make Mama Susan mad now, do you? Nah, so granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. Mm. I'm sorry. Usually these men are trying to get the, 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 the reaction community out of here, fam. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about other countries, but we're in the UK right now. Music channels, music reaction channels, blood, they're going through it, blood, getting all types of strikes left, right, and center. One channel just got taken down. My channel is literally on a, has a strike right now, so I can't upload for a week. From I think yesterday was my first day, so I still got six more days, and like they're trying to get us out. Of here. Sorry, I killed Stick me. I am sorry, I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, "We don't give a f about no Stink Meaner." I beg your pardon. Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? That's obvious. No. That's no. obvious. Oh, bruh. This it whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No, they literally came and did all this all for sh and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Psych! Exhibit D. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't welcome see this, to Uncharted the Territory, the, 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 the territory thing, where legends know. are made. Welcome to Exhibit B. I now present to you the clone. So you see, Stink Mina wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Stink Mina answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Stink Mina and it says, Dear Clone Me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Stink. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? That's right. I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, bruh. I ain't having this today. I'm just gonna have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's stink meter is moving. And he's like, oh yeah, the government gave me some augment. Look how long that tooth is bled. Uh, man. Does that nigga not be stabbing himself every single time he closes his mouth? Like, bro, it's moving. And he's like, oh yeah, the government God gave me some damn. augmentation. Look at that headbutt, judo throw, sidekick, boom. And people recording Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype, any of y'all remember Skype, man? Oh, Matter of yeah. fact, does anybody even still use Skype? But anyways, yeah, yeah. Stink me on the phone and he like, What's good, Gilgar? Just to let you know, we gonna have 
have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. Toodaloo, Robert. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meter. But oh, then, this, guy this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunzler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meter, so uh, I bailed him out. And now we're gonna have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised event with promotional so material good. and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side was taking over, and he was slowly becoming more like Stink Meaner. So it's the night of the fight, and you can obviously see the difference in him. Man's got the ball spot and everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink Meaner like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! So yeah, bro, this wasn't even a fight. Robert like, gave this man the most absolute beatdown of the century. But the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just Robert under Stink Meaner's influence. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy, an old hating ass nigga. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, Granddad, this. Now you, now you want to stop this, bruv. You literally should have stopped it the first time, you little idiot, afro-headed you, blood. This wouldn't have happened, blood. Now all of a sudden, what? Bruv, get out of here, man. Ass. This is what I'm saying. So here we Don't ended up having to stop it. He's like, like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole crowd, bruh. It's just silent. And then this man, Ed, like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stink Meaner, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stink Meaner like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Nah, that's crazy. So we cut three months later. And this man Stink Meaner outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? That's f What's up, Robert? So Robert come to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Meaner say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. Hey, shout out my life, CJ, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Boondock, shout out, you know what I'm saying? Um... What do you call it? Boondocks and them things. The only hell about this blood was about Huey and that trying to stop the fight at the end, fam. You literally should have done that from the beginning. This wouldn't have happened, fam. Nickel E D at you. Anyway, hopefully you man enjoyed this new boy man like jazz. And I'm out of here, man. You'll be beautiful, man. I'm gone.